Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Billy with Craft and Cake with Billy. I'm super excited to have you guys here with me today. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So happy to have all of you here. Um, if you have caught my last few videos, I have been working on just little embellishments and things for junk journals. Um, if you don't make junk journals, that's okay. If you just have a regular journal, a prayer journal, or if you just like to read, this is the video for you. Um, as you can see, all of these wonderful little trinkets that are like falling all out of my journal here. These are some of the items that I have been making. I will link the videos for these items in the description. Um, we made some paper clip dangles together. Lots of fun. So I'll link the tutorial below. We also made some little tabs with charm dangles to go in our junk journal. So today I thought it would be fun to make safety pin button dangles. Yeah safety pin button dangles all right so if you like the look of you know all of the um beads and charms and things like that hanging off of a journal this is the craft for you i just love that look by the way all right so all you're gonna need for this craft is some safety pins some buttons or beads whatever tickles your fancy they don't have to be a specific kind of button they don't have to be a specific color you do what you like because this is your craft all right first i'm going to show you some examples of ones that i have made and these are all different but equally beautiful i believe so the first one I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so you can get the full effect. The first one, let's do this one, I made was this one. Can you see that? And it has little wooden beads and it has a cute little flower. And I like the look of that frill. So I left some threads just hanging. So. I like that look. So that was one that I made. And then I made this one and this one is the braided. And it has one of the brads on there to cover up the top of the safety pin. So that was another one. I also made one that with a dangle now you can always cut off these little strings, but I happen to love that look. So I like to leave my strings. This one has a button at the bottom. It has a wooden bead. It has a couple silver beads and then differently shaped wooden beads. And then another bread there at the top just to cover up that safety pin. And as you can see, this dangle hangs from the bottom. And then these are from the top. This is perfect for like a boho journal or just any sort of journal because my journal is really not boho, but it is, um, this is actually my um, Valentine's love journal that you're gonna see pretty soon. Um, I'm almost finished with it, but I wanted to show you the look with all of the beautiful things hanging from the outside. This one is a stacked button cloak, um, safety pin, and it has a wooden bead and a butterfly. I love the look of this one with the stacked buttons. I have seen someone do something similar to this before. I'm not really sure who, but um, I like that look. So I made that one, and then this one I made, it's really long, and I added 
a cute little piece here. And then it has a key. It has a large brown button here, some wooden beads, some stacked buttons. And then I threaded that button, threaded a couple others. And then it has a large key at the bottom, a bulb pin hanging from the key with a, another key and a charm made with love. So I love that one as well. The thing I love about this craft is that you can use whatever you have. You don't have to have any specific thing. You can pretty much use whatever you find laying around and it just makes your journal more interesting, I believe, and more beautiful. So let's see, give a little close up so you can see. So I think we can make at least one of these together here. And if I don't make the one that you choose, uh, you can request that I make a different one if you'd like to see that. And I will be happy to try and make um, a tutorial for you. So for this craft, all you're going to need again are safety pins. You're going to need a needle to thread and then some of this, um, this is actually the thread that I use to sew in my signatures for journal making. So let's just see. I'm just going to start off by getting some thread and you just get enough because I like to double it just for extra security. So it doesn't have to be really long. It just depends on how long you want your dangle. And then I'm just going to cut it off here. If you have a needle threader, you can use that. Um, this needle that I have here is a sort of larger needle. So I'm going to have to find buttons and beads that have uh, larger holes. So you can either do it, use your threader, or you can do it the old fashioned way and just kind of twist the end like that. And let's see, thread it. There we go. I'm loving these craft with me's. I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. I do apologize for the lighting. The sun keeps going behind the clouds and then it'll pop, it, pop out and then it'll go back and so hopefully you guys are able to see me. I'm just going to make just a tiny little knot there. All right, so I'm going to grab a safety pin. And I don't really know if I want to do... Let's do one from the bottom here because we can cover the top up with something else. So I'm just going to go through the bottom. And I'm going to tie. And now this one may be different from one that I've made, but um, you know, we're just playing along here. See what we can make together. Crafting is fun, so no matter what what we get, it's gonna be. An adventure, right? All right, so I have some buttons here. All different color buttons. Um, so the journal that I'm working on is kind of vintage. So I've been trying to find like the older looking buttons. These are buttons from the Dollar Tree. So did you know the Dollar Tree carries um, little packs of buttons who knew some of these are actually really vintage and some of these are just dollar tree buttons okay let's get a few beads we got these little tiny beads here and 
for those of you who know, I am a pink fanatic. I have purposefully not chosen pink. And I'm trying to do just the vintage look. So what I did was just took a wooden bead and just went threaded it through using the needle. Um, let's see. Let's do a smaller bead. So we do, I did a larger bead and now we'll do a smaller one. Like this. gonna feed it through there and then I'm gonna grab a button this one has two holes I'm gonna see if this is actually gonna fit nope and that's okay we will get something with larger holes let's try this I'm gonna Go through there and then go through the one that is just across from that hole. Bring it all the way down. Cute, right? Look at that. Let's do a couple more beads. So how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope you stay to the end of this video because I have to show you guys something I was gifted the other day and oh my goodness it was such a surprise and it's so so very beautiful so I want you guys to see that so make sure you stay till the end I'm gonna do the same thing with this button I'm gonna go through the bottom and then go through the hole that's right across from that one okay that hole looks too small, so we can't use that one. But yeah, the fun thing about this craft is, you know, you just, there's not any particular way that you have to do this. Use the buttons that you like. Now let's do some stacked buttons. So we're just gonna Find some buttons instead of going through both holes, you just go through one. That one. I guess the hardest part is making sure to um, find buttons with big enough holes. This needle that I have is a larger needle, so you probably won't have <laughs> any sort of problems threading or. Um, putting your buttons on. You don't have to actually use a needle, but it's easier for me. So I just have to make sure I have buttons that have larger holes. This is this one has larger holes, but it's also a larger button. But who says we can't use a larger button? Do what you like. All right, so I'm still stacking here. Stacking, stacking. I don't know if you guys like buttons like me, but for some reason, I have this thing for buttons. I love a button. So as you can see, I'm just stacking some buttons and then I will go back to add some more beads. Here's a different kind of bead, little round wooden beads. Let's add some of those. Nice. Now, if you like um, more dainty looking dangles, of course you can use those. You can use the pinks and the bling, which I normally use. But for this particular project, I kind of wanted the vintage look. So something that looks a bit aged. 
was the look that I am going for. All right. So, like I said, you can make these as long or as short as you would like. And I am just, you know, putting beads and buttons, not in any particular order, just as they come, as I pick them up. So, all right, so I think we're nearing the end of this one. You can actually put this on the spine of your project or your journal. Let's see, how did I do this? Let's go, I'm gonna take the last two beads here and I'm gonna make a knot. So go ahead and cut off the needle. And I'm gonna double knot this last set of beads here. Okay, so you can pull them all the way down. And see if we can do one more here. I don't know if my beads are going to go through here. If they don't, that's okay. So. And you can also take some other pieces to kind of fit between these little gaps. You can take some bulb pins and put some charms on them and then hang them from little bulb pins like this and i'm just gonna take some look and i'm gonna look through my um charms and okay i have a key here and a little, looks like a little nut. I'm gonna stick that on there. And I think it makes them pretty interesting when you hang things from them. So here, I'm gonna just add that to my dangle. So every now and then you'll see little pieces hanging off. And you can just keep doing that and fill in gaps if you have gaps. Let's see, another charm. I have lots of keys. And there's another one we can stick on there. And it also gives it a little bit of sound. I like that. Let's see. You can put little pins and different pieces on there just to give it some added interest. Cool, right? Listen to that sound. Yeah, so you just want it to look, well, mine, I want it to look vintage. So, of course, it's not going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. That's what gives our um, crafts such character. All right, I'm going to kind of clean up these button so you can see what's going on here but yeah so the dangles they hang from the side of the spine of your journal 
So that's the one that we made together here. And I still like the thread hanging from that. Um, we're gonna use a little bracket here and stick it through the top just for a little bit of pizzazz. Yes, that looks vintage to me. What do you think? Okay. All right, so that one is done. And then that one. I really love these cute little things, but all right. So all of these you will probably see in my upcoming um, Valentine's journal. But I just wanted to show you how easy these are to make and how cute they are. And this is just a project you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff for. You have all these things probably laying around your house. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And sorry if it took too long, but I wanna show you real quick before I go, I need to show you what I received. I received this beautiful gift from a family member you know who you are and i just want to thank you again for thinking of me um i had no idea that he was gonna make this for me but i wanted to show you guys what he made for me and it was just it's just so beautiful so here we go so i got this gift and check it out oh my goodness look how beautiful so my cousin made me this um charcuterie board and he knows that i like to make charcuterie um you know different charcuteries so he made me this and it has my youtube name on there and look at that it has a um tiered dessert tray with cupcakes and then this cute little charcuterie and it is carved. It's like a wood carving. So look how beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Thank you so much. It also comes with this really cute drawer of silverware. Look how cute. Look at the tools. I love this so much. And I told him, I said, um, I love it so much, I don't want to put anything on it. <laughs> and it also comes with these little bowls. How adorable, right? And a beautiful plate. So thank you so very much for that. I do appreciate it. Um, I know he does like the carvings and charcuterie boards for a lot of different people. I will leave his contact information below if you are interested and you can email him um, if you would like to. So thank you so very much for watching guys. Also, I'm going to link all of the related videos down in the description for you to go back and enjoy. Thank you for your time and thank you for being a part of Crafting Cake with Billy. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.